Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carmen. In today's video, I wanna show you how we renovate a second bathroom in our fixed upper house. I'm super excited to show you everything with, it, with this bathroom. I'm going to show you the design process, how we're going to replace the mirror, the light fixture, how we're going to build a new countertop for the vanity. I'm going to paint the vanity. I'm going to show you everything. And also I want to remind you guys that we are not professional contractors. We just want to make our home or our fixer upper home beautiful. So we're just learning to do all this stuff and we watch YouTube videos, do a lot of research, but we're not contractors. Um, we just learn and we want to share our experience with you guys. That's where I create this channel. So you guys can, and, get some ideas and inspiration so you can do it yourself in your own house. So let me show you what we did. This is our second bathroom renovation in our fixer upper house. We have a total of four full bathrooms, but this bathroom needs a lot of help. This is the 80s builder gray bathroom. It's been this way for probably 35 years now. And the plans that we have for this bathroom is to build a new countertop for the vanity, uh, replace the mirror, paint the walls, uh, paint the vanity and add some life fixtures and replace the toilet. We're going to keep the floors because I love the floor. And this is the mood board I created for this bathroom. It helped me to put all my ideas together. I love the tile floors of this bathroom, so I decided to keep them. All I did to restore the look of this floor was applying this product called Grout Fresh to change the color of the grout for a light gray. This product was super easy to apply and clean. First, you have to clean the floors very well. Then you apply the grout with a brush, let it dry for 30 minutes, and then you remove the excess of the grout from the tile and your floor looks brand new. I love it. We also decide to keep the vanity. We're just going to replace the countertop and add a new sink. I'm going to paint it white because we're going to add some tiles in the wall around the vanity. They're going to be a dark color. So the white um, vanity will give a nice contrast to the tiles. So the first thing I did with this vanity is I apply some wood filler because I have some old cabinets and Wood filler will help to make everything nice and smooth because it will cover the grain. But if you guys don't have old cabinets, you don't have to apply wood filler. You just can sign them down, clean it, and then add the primer. But in my case, I have to apply the wood filler first, let it dry, sign them down. And now I'm applying the primer with a roller and a brush. And usually I apply two coats of primer and then I signed them down, and after um, my primer is done, I applied two coats of paint. And I do the same thing for the doors. The only difference is that I use a spray gun to paint the doors. We're going to remove the tiles around the vanity and the countertop, and we're going to build a new one and add a new sink. For the new countertop, we decided to go with a butcher block. We bought this one at Lowe's. It's a four feet butcher block. And here he's cutting the butcher block so it can fit perfectly in the vanity. So as you can see, I, so I left this out alone ever since I cut it for the other bathroom because I want to make sure that my corner, well, I actually wanted to cut it just one side and then the back was the side also that I cut when I left this factory made. And since the cut wasn't as accurate as I wanted it to be, um, I decided to use this one um, for this bathroom because this countertop is smaller so I can still correct myself with this butcher block. That's what I did. I left this side, like I said before, uh, factory made. So it has those margins and you know, kind of like a round border, uh, same as this side. And so I just cut the same parts that I had cut before just smaller so I can fit this um, to this cabinet and um, in the back. Actually, the back I left alone, the back was the same size. And so I have a, a slight, about a, almost three fourths of a, or three fourths of, a, of an inch kind of going around all the way around here, give or take. Maybe a little more on the side right here. And open up for the sink. I think the sink here is gonna be around this area. Thank you. 
After he finished cutting the hole for the sink, I started applying some sealer and polyacrylic five times to help to protect the butcha block. Then it was time to glue the new sink to the countertop and we use a silicone sealer for this. We also add tiles uh, half of the wall around the vanity. I love tiles and it goes very well with the style that we're going for the house. We're going for the Spanish revival style or Spanish colonial. And you will see a lot of tiles in the future renovations. And the reason we chose this style is because we have wood crown molding, baseboard and doors all over the house with this wood tone and this style goes very well with the wood so you will see white walls in all my renovations and tiles too and for this project we're using the same materials we use in the other bathroom the premix grout and the premix motor uh, to complete this project we're going to add a new light fixture to this bathroom, so we're going to remove this old one. And remember guys, in any renovation, the light is very important. And we're also going to remove this old mirror, and here he's removing the four clips that hold the mirror. I asked my husband to build a floating shelf above the tiles because I want to give this wall a night nice contrast. To measure how thick your wood is, and so it's uh, three quarters of an inch, and then you set this little jig to three quarters. So that's what I have, three, I have it in three quarters. And that's when I place it against the wood, it's going to be flushed. You see that? So that's going to make it three quarters when I put the drill into it. And so then I'm gonna hold it in place and secure it, make sure it doesn't move. So I'm gonna use this clamp. Actually first, let me, I already um, marked the areas that I wanted to drill, make the hole. And so I have it flushed, I clamp, stick it through the hole. So this one came with two holes, I'm, I'm just using one. I'm gonna put it into the hole and then I'm gonna drill all the way to this mark here, which is a three fourth, and I'll show you three quarters of an inch. You see how it's marked there? It's one half, three quarters, one and one half. And so I've already set this dial into the three quarters. And now is the time to add the final touches to this bathroom makeover. We're going to add a new light fixture, a new mirror, and I'm going to share with you guys all the items that I use in this bathroom renovation under this video. So you guys can check it out later. That's where the mirror is going to hang from. And so the measurements here. And now I'm going to hang these. Looks like little metal clips. These are my dots. I'm going to put that on the dot itself. I'm going to center that right there on that dot. And then I'm going to put this through here. And I'm going to nail it down.
So we just finished our last transformation, as you can see. Um, tons and tons of work. Um, we, we did a lot of things uh, differently in this bathroom to make it look really nice, um, at least in my opinion, in Carmen's. Um, so we um, added a new mirror, light fixtures, sink. New um, blue, a new countertop. A new countertop. Yes, I love it. Definitely um, painted the cabinets. Painted the cabinets, added different knobs and, and handles. And the tile. And Definitely. The oh, yeah, the tile, the tile. The tile on the wall. So um, I hope you um, hope you all liked it. It's um, Carmen's design. Disclaimer, we're, we're not contractors by any means. Our jobs no. are completely <laughs> different <laughs> from, from this. Construction. Um, but um, uh, Carmen has a good eye and she, she likes to put things together. Um, I just give my opinion if I like it or not when she asks me. And he put me. my ideas uh, into reality. And then I, I, do the, <laughs> I do the hard work, I do yes. the contractor's work. But I mess up a lot. Um, I have to Because you're not professional. Things to, <laughs> I have to cut things multiple times, remeasure, put it again. It's a mess, but we we love it. We enjoy it. We we just love Especially the way. Especially we're saving a lot of money to do it yes, ourselves. Yes, we love the way it looks at the end, and so that's what we have kept going, moving yeah. forward it's, with this, this project. Third project. This is our third project, and yes, tons and tons of money uh, that we have saved doing it ourselves. And we still have more projects to go. That's what we decide, and that's why I create this channel so I can share the experience of renovating our house with you guys. Because if we can do it, you guys can do it too. I know it's, it's hard. It's daunting. It's, it's very um, intimidating walking into these type of projects. I was intimidated. Um, yeah. So, you know, I... We, but the more you do it, the better right, or the right. faster you get ideas. We do the research and, you know, every little project you pick up new new tricks and how to do things um, better. Mm -hmm. um, and so... That's what I've done, and, it's and also tools. You can faster. Make tools and faster. I already have a bunch of tools, tools. that I've never had, had before. before. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's it's definitely worth it. I think it turned out pretty pretty nice. So yes. To me, it did. We like the last two bathrooms um, transformation. Absolutely. And and we saved so much money doing ourselves. The only thing we didn't do ourselves in this bathroom it was the um, new the faucet. faucet. Faucet and the toilet uh, were installed by a plumber. Reason why I didn't want to mess with the faucet too much was because it was uh, so many pieces. It was very uh, intricate. There's many, many pieces to it, and plus I just wanted to make sure that was I wasn't okay. gonna have any leaks <laughs> later. And so, as well as the toilet, I, I just wanted to go in and get a plumber and get it done um, professionally. But everything else we we, we did, did. Yeah, yeah. looks nice. And I hope you guys like it too. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next renovations. Don't forget to give like and comment if you have any questions and we'll see you for the next project. We still have the other bathroom that we took everything out. That will be a complete bathroom transformation, but we're still working on that one. And you did a great job. Thank you. Me too. <laughs> and I hope you guys like it too and we'll see you next time, okay? See ya. Bye. 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 <laughs>